Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick post-mortem video for a game I made during the last Ludum Dare competition. The theme of which was, the more you have, the worse it gets. It was a good theme for me and I decided to sleep on it. As I was getting to sleep, I had lots of ideas enter into my mind. With this burst of creativity, I decided to sketch a few ideas down. I envisioned the player as a condemned violent video gamer who needs to be rehabilitated by playing non-violent video games. The twist here is that for the player to succeed, he has to sacrifice the helpless creatures in the game. The point being that this was unintended by the designers of the rehabilitation machine. With this in mind, I fell asleep. When I got up, I started right away with what I knew I needed. A computer terminal for the player to be re-educated on. I got a couple of references together and knocked out something good enough. As time was pressing, I didn't want to spend too much time on the graphics, and so I got right into making the basic gameplay. I knew I wanted something very simple and reminiscent of the old DOS games, so I put together a couple of quick sprites and started coding up basic movements and firing mechanics. An hour or so later, I had a character that could move and fire bullets in the direction indicated by the sight. Now that I had a player character, I needed some enemies. In the interest of time, I made just one type. The enemy is as primitive as can be. He basically waits for a distance and line of sight, then if the player is too far to attack, he shoots, and when he's closer, he'll charge. Also, to counter the enemy's bullets, the player can shoot them down with his own. As I mentioned in the beginning, I had to have some helpless creatures roaming around so that the player had to avoid hurting. I didn't want to populate the level with them as it felt a bit forced. I decided on the idea where, when you kill an enemy, he is resurrected as a harmless duck. That will follow you around and quack on occasion. The more ducks you rescued, the more they'd quack. In fact, after a duck moves from one position to another, he has about 5% chance of quacking. I decided to keep that percentage low, as there could be 50 or so ducks in the level and didn't want to annoy the player too much. Although even this can play into the whole re-education idea. The level design and all other parts including keys, doors, hands, win and lose screens along with the intro screen were pretty much straightforward. After the game was done, as with every LD, it's all about playing and reviewing other people's games. There were quite a few good ones this time around, although a crazy amount of entries and unlike back in the day, no one could possibly play them all. The results for everyone will be posted around the 29th. If you guys are interested in playing the game, I've linked its game page in the description. And uh, last but not least, I want to throw a quick shout out to T from Indie Gaming for giving a game a solid playthrough. I've linked her channel in the description as well. He killed me. Based on the results of this playthrough, we have deemed you unable to return to society. <laughs> oh, it's too bad, I'm stuck in this game forever. Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. You're probably thinking, this guy's two weeks estimate turned into a year, and you'd be right about that. But fear not, episode 2 is in the works. I haven't completely stopped putting it all together. I'd have to have another time estimate turn into a meme in the comments, but I'll just say that it'll chronicle the development of Alien Smash, the game I talked about before, and the adventure my friend and I had to drag ourselves through to see it to completion. Hope you guys will check back from time to time and keep in touch. Cheers guys.